Good luck, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbylad.com. 2018 Tops Finest Baseball 8 Box. Pick your team 7 coming at you. This is our last break of the night. We finally did it. Andrew K with that last spot mojo. EA buying the Angels straight up. Daniel Patera buying the Yankees straight up. And there's everyone else right there. Good luck to everybody. Thank you very much for filling this up. We were reminiscing about the old days with Rex. About how there were days when when we could barely do this is like four years, three, four years ago when we, when we could barely do, you know, a few a few breaks a night. A few like half case breaks a night. And now now you guys are running me ragged. No, we're not complaining, it's fine. Business has been growing, it's been good, so I appreciate everybody's support over the years. I know, I'm surprised how many people from four years ago still break with us, and still hang out with us, like like Rex. Um, Rex, Arthur, and all the other guys that remember Hiller and Eddie on, um, Andrew K is a buddy of theirs, and he only just recently joined joined us, but like Hiller and Eddie are still, still recruiting for Jaspies. All right, good luck, everybody. Top finest, figure team seven. Otani count zero on this. But maybe we'll close the night out with an Otani autograph. Good luck, everybody. Uh, this will be our last break of the night. In fact, yeah, this break will will take us right up pretty close to the top of the hour. So, obviously, if you wanna if you wanna hang out, you're always more than welcome to hang out. Just chat about baseball or whatever. Um, so, everyone, feel free to uh, feel free to hang. Or if you need to go, if you're like Joe, I'm not in this break. Have a good night. We'll see you on Tuesday. We'll be back on Tuesday, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. And we'll do this madness all over again, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll have more finest to do. And um, I don't know. We will, we'll have plenty. Plenty of things to do next Tuesday. We'll probably pull up our World Cup promo by then. Details of the World Cup promo are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And, um, and we'll get there, folks. We will get there. But this is our last break of the night. So thanks, everyone. Ah, EA's wondering if, if I... If I put anything on the Belmont. I did not. Did not put anything on the Belmont. I, I know absolutely zero about horse racing. Although, I just said, I told everybody, hey, I, I think Justify. Just because he's a Santa Anita horse. Turns out he did it. And Bossman and I were actually watching at EA. They, that guy, that guy, that horse <laughs> was, was leading the entire way. It was crazy. And there's Sean Newcomb for the Braves. That goes to Sen Yin with the Bravos. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Hiller and Eddie... But Eddie was always so chill. Hiller would always get so upset when he didn't hit. Oh, Gold Mike Trout, EA. That sound, looks like a good start for your Angels. Oh, you took Bravazo. For you, Arthur, yes. What, did I miss one? Was there already one? There's Mike Trout to 150. And Nino with the Orioles has the die cut, Cal Ripken Jr. We have not seen an autograph die cut yet. Finest is featuring uh, featuring Cal Ripken Jr. this year. And there's Tyler Maley. Tyler Bailey's your other auto. Did I miss a Goldschmidt? Was there one? If I see one, I'll, I'll pull it for you. You don't want me to pull Robbie Ray? 
Oh, there he is. I got. I saw it. Um, I think I realized, Arthur, why Goldschmidt started off the season so slow. Because I met him at the Topps Industry Conference. Remember that? Thanks, Topps, for that, by the way. That was cool. Um, but, uh, but I remember I met him. I shook his hand. I told him I was a Dodgers fan. I think I cursed him, Arthur. And my fantasy team. I had Paul Goldschmidt on my fan. I think I cursed him. So... Yeah, Jacob Glenn was around for a while, too. No, no, I hear you. Hey, it's all it's all good. But I'm, I'm glad you can always always listen and enjoy the show, Jacob. Oh, you just got a dual auto from... A dual Nolan Ryan auto from uh, Nancy? Yeah, she still comes around. She'll, 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 she'll come around break with us. Maybe once every other week, she'll do a few nights in a row, and then... Um, you know, she'll she'll hit stuff and then she'll come back a couple weeks later and do a couple nights in a row and yeah, so she's still around. Um, my baseball picks did great today, folks. That's two nights in a row. Three nights ago, terrible, terrible. Two nights in a row. Pretty good. Yesterday was okay. I think I split yesterday, but today I won five out of six. I only lost the Pirates. Come on, silly Pirates. They like hitting lefties. You couldn't you couldn't take care of John Lester? That guy can't throw to first. Wait, what was what was the dream? EA? Alright, next one. Miguel Andujar. Daniel Patera, he's hitting well. Nice rookie auto. Yankees are stacked. Young prospects. Didi Gregorius coming back around. Out of 150. Power numbers are down for Didi, but I feel like they're having him steal more bases, so he's more active on the base paths. And Walker Bueller. There you go, Brad. Well worth the wait, right? Dodgers pitching savior, Walker Bueller. Going out to Brad. Picked up the Dodgers last night. Almost 24 hours ago. Almost exactly. There you go. Congrats. Walker Bueller save. Oh! You'll get this, Paul Goldschmidt, too, Arthur. 244 out of 250. Goldie. Purple. That guy actually kind of matches their old uniforms. You know, Arthur, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like... I kind of like... Uh, I kind of like the old pinstripe Diamondbacks. Is that crazy to say? Does no one like those? These are okay, but it's just like... This seems like too focus group. You know what I mean? Like they did a focus group and they're like, yeah, people like this. But like the weird pinstripes with the purple sleeves, I kind of like those jerseys. There's Jack Flaherty out of 150. I like how they brought those back for some throwback games. Oh, the Goldschmidt story? Not a dream, EA. In Arizona, there was a Topps Industry Conference where we went to with Topps. And uh, as part of like uh, the sort of end of the conference, I think it was only two nights, at the end of the conference, they had like a meet and greet with Paul Goldschmidt. He was a surprise guest. And so, and I, we met Hunter Green too. And um, yeah, met Paul Goldschmidt. And he was signing autos for like 100 people or something like that. So they had like a small stack of cards. And there you go, Paul Goldschmidt autograph. And so I met him. I told him I was a Dodger fan. I said, I'm not, I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to be excited about this. And he, we had a good laugh. And, uh, and I gave, he's actually a really nice guy. He was super nice. Um, 
So he was very considerate, super nice. Took pictures with everybody. Like he didn't. Um, I gave, I gave my auto to either Arthur or, to either Arthur or uh, Joe P when we saw them in Arizona. Um, and Nick gave up one of his two for Arthur or Joe P. I forgot who. I forgot which one of you got got whose. But yeah, we gave we gave those away to Arthur and Joe P when we saw them there. And um, yeah. And oh, Joe P. What was the other part? The other part of the story was Joe P. Was saying that uh, that he signed it. He signed it the the good way or whatever. I, I guess I guess if there's if he's on on baseball cards. He kind of rushes through it. I, I mean, with, it's understandable, but he said, but if you get like an actual in-person autograph of his, like he does it a little bit nicer. Or if it's memorabilia. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It was at the, it was at Talking Stick, Walking Stick, Arthur, or Talking Stick. It was uh, the, the Diamondbacks uh, Rockies facility. Um, So it was pretty cool. There's JP Crawford at 150. Strasburg back on the DL. Albert Poole's actually having a great year. Oh, Arthur. Look at this. Sitting red. A Goldschmidt insert. That'll ship out. And the autograph should be coming up. Behind Jose Abreu is. Chance Cisco, 70 out of 99. Oh, I think there's a Talking Stick Arena, and then there's like the Salt Flats at Talking Stick Casino or something like that. That goes to Nino and the uh, Orioles. Nice one, Nino. 20 out of 50, Clint Frazier, gold. That goes to the Yankees. That's for Daniel Patera. Um, I forgot who that guy was, Jacob. Um, no, well, you know, Jacob, like with this industry, the, is Syndergaard on the DL too? 50 out of 250. Um, the high rollers come and go, you know what I mean? Or the people who buy that amount of spots, you know, like that's just not sustainable. You know, so so those guys come and go, but I think eventually what we want is like if we get enough regulars to buy just a couple spots at a time, that fills the breaks, and that's kind of how it's been going. There's Ryan McMahon, nice autograph, Rockies. That goes to Kike Hernandez. No, not that Kike, although I pretend that it is. It's Gabriel's brother. And there's the Otani. Batting. All right, next box. baseball from that Rockies facility. They, they, they let us do a uh, batting practice there too, EA. It was a cool conference. So we went, went to the facility. It was super cold, but they went to the facility and they did the, uh, the, they did the whole pitching machines and they put the thing in there and, and all the guys that were there at the conference, which was other hobby shop owners, some other breakers and stuff like that around the country. Nick Jaspi and I stepped into the cage. We hit pretty well. We didn't embarrass ourselves in front of the other guys in the hobby. <laughs> we looked okay. On that on that mean 45 mile per hour pitching machine. But then I, st I stole an official baseball. And I was just like, yeah, I've got it. That's, that's the one I play with when I, when I bring it to work. Oh, probably like, or, I mean, probably uh, how fast he is. Uh, 90 miles per hour. 
Yeah, probably like 90, 95, something like that. But we were just, I, it was easy for us. We were just ripping them opposite field. We're pulling it down the line, up the middle, wherever we wanted, you know, just because Jaspies. Did I say 45? I meant, I meant 90. Jack Flaherty auto. Captain Jack Flaherty. DeGruche says 80% uh, of our business, your business comes from 20% of our customers. Is that true? Um, the X line. Cardinals. Good morning, Josh. I know you went to bed already. This is our last break of the night. Aaron Judge sitting red. Was that a bonus auto? It was. And another Cardinal for the X-Line. Harrison Bader, good morning, Josh. He's watching this video in the morning. There you go. And what else we got here? What's this? Josh Donaldson sitting red. Gold out of 50. Uh, that's for the Blue Jays. That is for Daniel Patera. Jose Abreu to 99. Cal Ripken Jr. die cut. Albert Pujols refractor. Sitting red Matt Olson. So Nino with the O's. And Jose Abreu Green goes to Sam and the White Sox. So that's what the rule says for any business? Huh. I should actually, we have a, we have the, the ability to extract those numbers. Wow, nice finest hour, Adrian Beltre. That's a case hit. One per case. Who's got the, Arthur with the Rangers? Who says Arthur doesn't hit? Guy hits all the time. Look at that Arthur hitting all the time. Who says Arthur doesn't hit? Finest hour. That's a one per case, Peru. Look at that. Who says he doesn't hit? <laughs> Arthur may not hit often, but... He'll, he'll get a big hit every once in a while. All right, there you go, man. Congrats. See? See? Persistence, ladies and gentlemen. Paying off. I don't know if it pays off, but... You have, you have the warm feeling of getting a nice hit. Oh, hey, you're welcome, Arthur. I appreciate it, man. Right. Good luck, everyone. So DeGruy saying something like that. Wow, I, that's an interesting number. Can someone corroborate that number? Is that about right? 80% of our business comes from, I feel like that's like, that's like uh, the cologne in Anchorman. Sex Panther, where 80% of the time it work, 20% of the time works 80% of the time. That's like Last Bot Mojo. 60% of the time it hits 100% of the time. I feel like we have a little more, I feel like we have a little more customer diversity than that. I feel like, I feel like the money is spread out a little bit. And yeah, EA confirms it is a business rule. Huh. I'd like to think we, we, that number is spread out a little bit more. There's the Otani pitching. Addition right there, and Yachty for the Redbirds. So a couple red teams there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't do the books. I'll ask Nick and our and our accountant. So 
So there's Otani. That's a different insert set. And we'll do certainly better than the base. There's Gary Sanchez. And behind Freddie Freeman is, what's the haps? Ian Hap. That goes to Brad and the Cubs. Play to the whistle, Brad. Who says Brad doesn't hit very often, except for Brad? Now, oh, there you go, man. See? Patience. And so there's only 335 Otani autos in this case. Hmm. Otani Refractor. Those will add up, Eric. I'm pretty sure all those will add up, especially like the refractors in the... There's Dallas Keuchel to 150. That's for the Strohs. That's for Arthur. Just nonstop hits for Arthur. Miguel Andujar, refractor. And your autograph behind Arenado is... Francisco Mejia to 99. Jerry Bennington with the Tribe. Rex says, if you lived in Redondo Beach, you'd be working for Jaspies? I don't know. There may, there may be there may be a conflict of interest. I don't know. Someone, someone not named Rex pulls a nice Nolan Ryan autograph. If that goes, if that gets misshipped for some reason, we know where the fingers would be pointing, Rex. Why is Top limiting what Otani so much? They said they would. They specifically told us at the Top's industry conference. They said, "I know that over overproducing and overloading certain players and certain products is something that people in the hobby don't like. So we will not be we will not be uh, doing that as much." Well, he does have free time now. If there's any Ota uh, if there's any redemptions, Otani surely will be working on all that during this free time. Although, maybe his, I don't know, maybe maybe his uh, maybe his doctor says maybe El Dr. Ella Trash or James Andrews is saying don't sign those cards. Yeah, there was a lot of judge redemptions last year, too. Oh, yeah. Guys are busy playing baseball. But Otani does have time off now. He's got he's got a few weeks. <laughs> I think Henry Owens is in the uh well, they can't all be Otani's. Well, driver the price of the Otani's EA? I don't the card companies Kind of, I don't think they care as much as people think about controlling the secondary market. They're just like, hey, as long as these cases sell out. Brian Anderson, refractor autograph for Kike Hernandez and the Marlins. Brent's asking, who do you think is the hidden gem or underrated rookie this year? Um... I don't know. Well, I would, I would say a guy that hasn't been called up yet, um, a guy that hasn't been called up, Victor Robles. I don't think he's, I don't think he's underrated. I think he's on everybody's radar, but he just hasn't been called up yet. So he doesn't have that Ozzy Albia's hype, the Acuna hype, you know, that kind of hype. So. That's why I think it's just, it's a lot of players who hasn't who haven't come up yet, Brent. In my opinion, and then we've got another Harrison Bader, forty-seven out of ninety-nine for the X line. Hi, X line. 
morning. Yeah, Albius has been doing pretty well. Both, I think, on the field and on the secondary market. Oh, nice. Jake Bowers called up, so you won a prize for your Bowman Breakthrough card. What do you get? But I don't know. I think I think so many people are 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 so savvy about prospects. It's hard to think of a of a real hidden gem or underrated MLB rookie for this year, Brent. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Vlad Guerrero Jr. That'll be a big one, uh, mostly for next year. I think I think he'll be in a lot of next year's products. Bo Bichette as well will be another big one for next year. But as for as for rookies, it's kind of hard to say. As for rookies that that will come up this year, that will be rookies this year and have an impact both like hobby wise. Yeah, Juan Soto, I think Juan Soto has actually took the shine, a little shine off of Victor Robles because he got called up first. Juan Soto got called up first and started to hit pretty well. But I think Victor Robles is still expected to be a huge name, though. The future for the, for the Nationals. Like, I can't think of anyone who would be under the radar. It's just kind of looking at, at maybe last year's prospects or the guys that came up for a cup of coffee and who are now expected to play a little more every day this year. Kind of track those guys and see where they're at. Now, yeah, so for example, EA's mentioning Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox. If he gets called up in July or August or when or when, uh, you know, rosters expand in September, right? So he gets his cup of coffee, you know, everyone will freak out because he'll not do well and everyone's like, oh, you look him and stuff. But then, wait for his rookie cards the following season in 2019, and he might be one of the big rookies right there. I could see that. Walker Bueller, Rookie of the Year. I, I don't know who else in the NL, well, Acuna. Maybe, but although he's he's injured, right? Ozzy Albius, that's another rookie right there. That's going to be a tough, tough battle. Might be a really good rookie of the year battle, actually. Huh? I wonder if, I wonder if there's 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 got to be lines on. There's got to be odds on uh on that rookie of the year on my offshore. Is one is he playing every day? EA, I outfielder. Or maybe uh, maybe it's uh, Adam Eaton's lingering injury is why he's getting all that playing time in the outfield. Adam Eaton, that was supposed to be a huge move for the for the Nationals, but they have gotten zero return from from Adam Eaton. All right, last two master boxes, last four mini boxes. Good luck, everybody. There's Otani. Ryan Braun to 250. Austin Hayes Refractor. And your autograph behind Yachty is Brandon Woodruff for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Scott V with the Brew Crew. All right, next mini box. We got Mike Trout to 150. So I think you got a gold Mike Trout and a 150 Mike Trout. There's Mike Trout again. And some orange shimmy shim, 23 out of 25. Tyler Maley for the Reds. Nick Stanley with the red legs. 
<laughs> yeah, he is like, who's Mike Trout? Nobody wants Trout. This will be like the I, I was telling everybody at the beginning of the baseball season. This summer will be the first year, the first year that people don't care as much about Mike Trout. Every other year, it'll be like, yeah, pull me that Mike Trout auto. You know, that, that's a, that's an easy two, three hundred bucks every time. Pull me that Mike Trout auto. Not this year though. <laughs> Nobody wants Mike Trout this year. Sorry, Trout. Everyone's going going Otani fishing, fishing for Otanis. All right, next master box. There's Alex Wood, Dustin Fowler to 250. Mike Trout Refractor. Um, we got behind Buster Posey is Tyler Wade to 150. That'll go to Daniel Patera. Rookie Auto Tyler Wade. And last mini box, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the Otani hype, Jacob Glenn? Yeah, it has been good for the card companies. I always say that, listen, it's it, it, you can tell that the hobby is strong if, if people are spending that kind of money on a baseball card with someone's autograph on it. You know what I mean? That's a good sign for the hobby. People see this the, the news on Otani car autographs and, and memorabilia in, in, in all the different websites, news websites, on the radio, on TV. That puts more eyeballs on, on people getting reintroduced to the hobby. You know, so, I mean, Aaron Judge and Bellinger last year, Otani this year, probably Vlad Guerrero Jr. next year. It's a good, it's a good handful of years for, for the baseball card companies, I think, because it just keep, continues to reintroduce people to the hobby. 32 out of 50, gold, Chris Bryant for Brad. And the last autograph is coming up, and it's going to be... Behind Cody Bellinger, it's going to be Travis Shaw for the Brew Crew. Brewers, brewing it up. Scott V, brewing it up. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our last break of the night in the books. We do have more finest. GLO, we will be posting that shortly on jazbeeshobbyland.com, and that will break next Tuesday. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging with me. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time.